easily the most recognizable part about this song is the bass line. I've gotten a lot of requests for it. I'm sure you can pick it up in literally two minutes. Or if you want to do straight notes, I think it sounds better with straight notes. Whichever you prefer, it's E, G, F sharp, B. That's literally all there is to the bass line for the entire song. The only other part that I can pick out in this song is a really, uh, it's, it's kind of a sporadic, it doesn't happen that often, little uh, keyboard string line I want to say, it sounds like, and it starts, if you're playing the bass line, let's say you're playing the bass line, it starts when you hit this note. So if you're playing the bass line and you just hit this note, this is how the string line is going to go. That's literally the only other thing in the song. Seeing as how this is a pretty bare bones beat, uh, I like to throw in chords in the right hand. Uh, so if you're playing E in the bass, play an E minor first inversion chord in the right hand. If you're playing G in the bass, play an E minor second inversion in the right hand. This is just something that I added. This isn't actually in the song, but I am adding this to make your piano rendition sound a little more full. Uh, moving on, if you're playing F sharp in the bass, play a B minor root position in the right hand. And then if you're playing B in the bass, play a B minor first inversion in the right hand. So this is going to sound a little bit different because the left hand's higher, but if you were to put it together... Now my, uh, since the... Uh, since my hands are going to run into each other, if I tried to play the synth line that I showed you uh, with the left hand up here, my left hand is going to disappear for a sec. Bye bye! And uh, I'm going to show you how it sounds with the uh, right hand that I just showed you, the synth line. There's literally nothing else. Martians vs. Goblins, Game, Tyler the Creator, and that guy Little Wayne.